I guess you can say that I've always been into fitness. I started lifting weights during the summer before my junior year in high school back in 2008. But of course, phones didn't really have cameras back then. So let's jump a few years forward into 2011. For the most part, my weightlifting journey was super normal, filled with unrealistic expectations and distorted goals. I probably spent the first few years concentrating mostly on abs and biceps kasi akala ko ito ang gusto ng girls ng high school. Only for them to overpower my other body parts and so I ended being left with oversized biceps, barely any abs, and still no girlfriend. By around this time, I had realized na di lang pala abs and biceps ang body parts ko, kaya nagsimula na rin ako with other exercises. And then I discovered that leg day existed, so I started doing squats. Now, moving forward, you might notice that I'll be doing the same thing again and again. And you're right, paulit-ulit lang naman talaga ang ginagawa kong mga workout ever since. So I tried my best to look for as many variations of generally the same movement. Here's me squatting, box squatting, pause squatting, squatting with a belt, squatting with two belts, Squatting while looking like I'm gonna pop a nerve, failing a squat, and yes, finally, a decent squat. Pwede na tayo mag-move on. A good part of all my lifts during my earlier years were all probably done with horrendous form. But I knew that over time, I would figure it out anyway. After all, if there's anything that I've learned about going to the gym, it's that it's an entire journey of learning and relearning. Moving forward, one major difference I noticed is that at some point, I stopped taking horizontal videos. Slowly at first, and then all of a sudden, puro vertical videos na. And I guess it makes sense that way since most of the platforms that I used favored vertical videos. Tumigil na rin ako magbuhat ng sobrang bigat. I thought that after years and years of just going as heavy as I can, I would give my body a break. And spoiler alert, till this day, di pa rin ako nagbubuhat ng mabigat. Maybe one day though, kasi yun naman talaga ang naging first love ko sa gym. It was also at this point that I began deleting videos right after posting them just because they take too much space on the phone. Besides, nasa archives naman siya ng Instagram so madali lang balikan kung kakailanganin. Just like these videos that I pulled from my Instagram archive from when I went to the US in the summer of 2020. While each day there was different for me, what remained the same on most weeks was trying to get a few workouts in. Grabe mga gym dun. Ibang iba. Di lang sa equipment, pero pati sa culture. You would find machines there that would either never be here or would be so hardly used kasi masyadong specialized. Yung mga tao naman din dun, sobrang seryoso sa kanila ang fitness. Which probably has a lot to do with how they have many hours of PE there compared to hours. Kung naalala ko tama, parang one hour a week lang ata yung PE ko nung grade school and high school. Of course, when I got back in late Feb of 2020, it wasn't too long before ECQ was established in March. And so for the next three months, there was close to zero resistance training. No routine for weight training at all, not even body weight. Except for that one time na ginawa ko yung push-up challenge. If anything, I made sure I did a couple of fitness things every day. One, I made sure I had my nutrition in check, made sure to hit my protein goals day in and day out, and two, I spent most days just trying to find out ways to get 10,000 steps in. An easy 2.5k would come from skipping rope and another 5k would come from cycling. Cheating, I know, kasi di naman talaga steps yun, but I somehow needed to gauge my daily activity, lalo na at stuck lang sa bahay. The cardio was so consistent even to my amazement kasi nga di naman ako mahilig mag cardio and I was able to bring down my resting heart rate. What do you know? It was fun at first but then the realities of not being able to get back to the gym and not being able to lift weights were setting in. And little by little, the joy and relief I was getting from daily cardio were waning away slowly. And so this is the story of what happens next. Okay, so you're probably familiar with this place. This is where the gym is gonna be at. So come on with me, uh, salipin natin. Today's first task 
is uh, we have to determine which we're gonna throw, which we're gonna sell, and uh, which we're gonna keep. Okay, so this is what it pretty much looks like now. Again, it's about 6 p.m., so medyo madilim na. But you could get, you guys could already see we got rid of a lot of stuff. And I think it looks pretty wide now. Dad wants to do some power washing. Let it rip, Dad. I think it's been two weeks since the last update. So let's check out the progress that uh, my dad has basically done all on his own. Okay, so far we've completed the putting up the roof on this portion of the house for the gym. So we're done, except then later on we'll be putting some hard reflex on this portion of the wall and then we'll move all this stuff out. Okay, that's it. Good morning guys, so today is the day. Today is the day we are going to be picking up the squat trap. Before anything else, just a quick update because my dad has been super hardworking with the help of course of Miguel. More or less, this gym is now an extended roof portion where we could now lift weights without having to worry about the rain. So the next time I'll be seeing you guys is at the warehouse where we will be picking up the squat rack. So guys, andito na tayo. And this is the squat wrap. Alright, so tuturo sa atin ni Kuya Robert kung papaano i-disassemble because uh, we're gonna be loading it into the car para dalhin sa bahay and then by the time we get home, uh, i-assemble natin to dun. So, it's been seven months since we probably had a good update na tong gym natin. This is what we have now. It's not exactly a lot of changes, but at the same time, I would think na the changes are small enough to make an impact in my everyday gym routine. Um, what you saw earlier, nung nag-update pa tayo back a few months ago, are basically the things we still work out with today. Since back then, nadagdagan lang tayo ng treadmill, nadagdagan lang ng electric fan, nagkaroon lang ng ilaw, and of course, there is also a TV. Now, if you look back at the intro and notice that I've been doing the same things again and again for the last 10 years, and could you believe, 10 years na tayo nag-video ng mga workout, um, this is exactly the things that I need today in this home gym. Now the question is, is this the same thing that you would need for your home gym? That depends. Ano ba ang needs mo? Ano ba ang workout mo? Ano ba yung ginagawa mo for the longest time? And of course, ano yung budget mo? You may not need the same setup I have, which I honestly believe is super simple. Meron lang tayong squat rack, weights, bench, and the mat. But at the same time, you mean your needs may be totally different. Pwedeng resistance bands lang din ang workout mo. Another thing to consider is the space you have. Uh, and, and the amount of people who will be using the equipment. I have friends who are saying na, oo nga, may space sila, but at the same time, not a lot of people will use the setup, and so, hindi naman din justified yung expense. May mga iba naman nagsasabi na marami sana silang gagamit, but at the same time, walang space. So, you see, um, there are many things to consider in getting your home gym, which now leads us to what you're probably thinking. Magkano ang nagastos to put up, this tiny home gym, which I believe are just filled with the essentials. So I'm just gonna eyeball everything, list down every single equipment that I see, put the price over here, put the total over here, and you just have to trust me, na nag due diligence na ako. So of course, starting with the squat rack, the barbell, the weights, the bench, the high density mats, um, the leverage squat, we also have bands over there, we also have the treadmill, and the TV na nadagdag over the past few months as well as itong electric fan na to were just upcycled from different parts of the house kung saan hindi na sila nagagamit gaano. 
And that's basically it. Of course, there's the roofing and the fixtures that definitely help in weatherproofing the place. But at the same time, uh, I don't think these are costs that uh, you necessarily have to consider. Upo muna tayo. I guess nakakapagod din pala mag-YouTube nang nakatayo. Um, we've never really filmed standing up. But uh, yeah, I guess I just want to end this video by sharing with you guys na yung fitness journey ko naman, hindi naman siya special. Uh, it probably started with the same superficial objectives that you may probably have. Um, these could be anywhere from looking good physically to impressing other people. But at the same time, you do have to start from somewhere and it won't always be as profound as believing na magsisimula ka dahil gusto mo maging uh, lifestyle ito and healthy ka lang. I believe that uh, if you are like me, <laughs> siguro, na nagsimula from a young age, I guess those are the simple goals that you will have. But as long as you keep pursuing this fitness journey, uh, your goals will become more and more substantial over time. I keep talking about this gym journey like it was just the past 10 years, but in reality, we did mention that 2008 tayo nagsimula and it was only in 2011 nagsimula tayo mag video. But um, it's been a good journey so far, and each year has been a good experience. 2020 was when, of course, things became totally different, but I'm glad that. I'm lucky enough na nakapag-adjust and uh, nap napagpatuloy pa rin yung gym journey natin through 2020. Apart from it being a huge chunk of my life, I also think that working out has been truly helpful in dealing with the anxieties I've been feeling the past year. Um, I think that if you have the time, please go work out as well. I think channeling the stress into something that makes you feel hardship or experience difficulties makes you realize that when you're not dealing with them or when you've dealt with them, uh, you tend to appreciate the good and the hard things better. That makes sense. That makes sense, diba? <laughs> when you purposely make yourself work out and experience all these difficulties physically and mentally and then you finally achieve them, it gives you a different perspective uh, whenever you deal with these same difficult things outside of your workout. Ayan, na explain ko na. If you're wondering how this all relates to live streaming, it's super simple. I live stream about fitness and health and nutrition and exercise every Wednesday. And I promise you that um, I try my best to give you evidence-based statements. And kung hindi ko alam, uh, hindi ako magmamarunong, I'll say hindi ko alam or I'll say kulang pa yung alam ko. So, iwas tayo sa fake news pagdating sa Wednesday live streams natin, which we actually call Wellness Wednesdays. On these Wellness Wednesday live streams, we don't really make it too technical. Um, and whenever we do, we try to break it down para kahit sino makakaintindi. So, this is essentially for anybody who just wants to get into fitness. Baka part ng 2021 mo ang fitness goals or getting into fitness. And uh, this could be for someone who's always been into fitness as well. Um, I'm open to being corrected kung hindi na updated yung information na alam ko. And uh, whenever taliwas or hindi nagtutugma yung information na alam natin, I'm also very welcome to have a constructive dialogue about it para um, beneficial for everyone in the live stream. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys learned a thing or two. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, and uh, like the video as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.